Hey, this is Dave, and together with my brother Rich and my son Caleb, we show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a lot of money in that process. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your sink drain. And in addition to replacing the drain, what we've chosen to do is to take out the old drain with its typical up and down lever that uh, opens and closes the stopper, and instead put in a push button stopper, which will clean up a lot of the the things inside the drain that hair and gunk can get hooked on. To do this job, we're just going to need two wrenches, a plumber's wrench or a monkey wrench to get the nut off the drain housing itself, and then just a small adjustable wrench to go ahead and uh, take the stopper nut off the back of the stopper. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is uh, squeeze this clip, and what we want to do is remove this uh, the bar that controls the, the vertical motion of the stopper and get it off this rod. So all you have to do is pinch this and slide it back off. And that's the clip that we were pinching. And now these two are free. Yeah, next thing you want to do is take this rod, this nut off the back, just so it's a little easier to disassemble. And it's just, you just gotta break it loose and then it will come out. And there you can see the mechanism. This is just a like ball and socket mechanism that controls the stopper itself. Now that that's out, we're gonna go ahead and take this brass nut off right here. that broken loose you can just undo this with your fingers okay so we want to take this p-trap off the bottom and that'll free us up a little bit and warning this is uh, sometimes pretty gross because inside the p-trap is uh, a lot of just standing water that's the whole goal of a p-trap is to keep the gases from the sewer coming into your house through use of a water barrier. And that's a water barrier inside this trap right here. Drop that and there's some serious clog action right there. You can see just how black it gets inside there. And that's just because of the standing water that sits in there forever. And uh, lucky for you, you can't smell this because it smells horrible. Now that we removed that stopper, uh, the stopper connection there, we can pull this up. And that's the actual stopper right there. But all of that mechanism there, if the rod goes through that little hole and it forms a catch for hair and gunk and the like. And so we're gonna try to get rid of that. This push button drain here, when you unscrew this, you can see that inside there, it's, it's straight through. There's no horizontals going through that drain. And that's kind of, that's the goal. That's what we're looking to accomplish, is to make it just a straight shot. And so if there's any hair that gets hung up, it can get hung up here, but that's easy to clean out. And then it's just a straight, a straight shot right down the drain into the P-trap. So that's the advantage of having this kind of a setup. So now, we just grab this and we're gonna twist it, turn it. Right, so now we gotta pop out the, the top part of the drain. Oh, it just, it just pushed up. It was literally just sitting in there. If I literally just lift it up. The holes there where you see my finger sticking out is where the overflow, that's the overflow in the sink, drains into the drain through the actual construction of the sink. And so when buying a new one, you want to make sure that your new one is set with an overflow in it as well, in the drain neck. I'm just going to clean this out now because the new surface needs to be really clean. All right, so this new drain body comes with a rubber gasket on the top and a rubber gasket on the bottom. 
All right, so you can see this, this drain body comes with a rubber gasket on the top, and that's gonna go right in this area. If you didn't have that, you would need plumber's putty, which is this right here. So what you would do is you would take a, a bit of plumber's putty and, and roll it in your hands into like a, a little rope like that. And then you would place it inside that edge of the drain and then put your drain pipe through that. And that would, and that would form like a gasket. But we don't need that plumber's putty because we already have a rubber gasket that comes with the drain. So that rubber gasket is going to seat in this area and this bottom rubber gasket will seat underneath in this area, in that area right there. And that will make a, a watertight seal and still leave this area right here where water can get in through the overflow if necessary. So let's go ahead and put that in. We'll slide off the nut. Slide off that gasket. And then we'll just take our drain pipe, put it in. Remember we still have that, that rubber seal there. That's really important, otherwise it'll leak like a sieve. Drop it in, nice and tight there. Now we'll put these two pieces on from underneath. And go on um, slanted side up, the smaller side up. Now the big nut, there, I'll spin it on with this, this lip pressing up against the bottom of it. And this is just going to be extra, that's just going to sit there. We're not using that at all this time. We're going to give it a turn or two with just a little bit of tightening here. Plumbing is all about tight but not too tight, so we want to we can always tighten this more if we need to, but we just want to make it sure it's good and firm. Before I tighten this all up, I'm going to take this portion of the drain off and just make sure this pipe's good and cleaned out so we have a good flow all the way to the street. Yeah, that's a little messy right there. All right, so that's all cleaned out. And there was quite a bit of debris in there. So this is going to drain much, much better now. Right, we grabbed uh, the plastic washer off the old drain pipe. Oh, first we put the cap, put the screw cap on, then the plastic washer that is just going to make a tight seal. It, this will screw down onto the P-trap here and make, make a tight fit. So it just goes right back the way we originally took it off. And again, if there's any leaks, you'll see them right here. And then it's just a matter of going back and retightening, making sure it's on square. So that should be it. And now we've got a clean drain all the way through. There's no obstructions with this old um, stopper that went into the side of the old shaft drain shaft, so there's less things to clog up in there. Everything's all clean, so we should have a, a free-flowing sink for quite some time. The right, last thing to do is go ahead and screw this back in to its housing. And that's all the way in. And then that, now when we want to keep the water in the sink, just press down and it'll stay locked. Went the water out, press up, and it pops back in again. Give her a try. That's just awesome to have that water just flowing so freely when before it was unusable, it was so clogged. And we'll run water. Got no leaks. Everything's the way it should be. No leaks up there. Right, hope that video helps. Uh, the drain's working great now. Total time probably took uh, 30 minutes to an hour. This was pretty gunky and so you, we could see there's multiple reasons why this drain wasn't draining well. But at least now you know how to replace the drain and if you want to do just a push button stopper, you can you see how that works out uh, really nicely. 
you got any questions, drop us a line. Please subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. We'll see you next time.